Hey there, happy day to you all, blessed saints in the Lord. This is Brother Brian, Love Has a Name YouTube channel. Today is Sunday, June 4th, 2023. Praise the Lord. And I hope you have enjoyed your weekend if you are watching this uh, still on this very day where the video is going to be um, airing. If not, I hope you enjoyed your weekend. I hope you are going to have a blessed day regardless of when you're watching this because the Lord is outside of time and he is in the midst of us in his presence, his word, which we're going to read now, the anointing, the glory of God is timeless and it is here for you at the moment you need it. Amen. So this video is going to encourage you a lot. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence. Just feel like a swirl just kind of like came around me. And um, this word, I'm very, very excited to share with you. It is a Diana Larkin prophetic word. The Lord gave this to her on June 2nd, 2023. And it goes with everything that we have been talking about here on this channel. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. It, um, man, it is just so, so, so exciting. I hope that those of you who were able to watch the prophetic warfare dream encounter video that I that I aired last night as a premiere. It was just under one hour and I don't do long videos like that very often, but I know that some of you, uh, perhaps you're waiting to have more time to watch it. So if you haven't watched it, I look forward to you all listening to that and hearing that powerful dream that the Lord gave me. Not only did it have a lot of revelation uh, for me on a personal level, but I believe the Lord is showing us also on a broader scale, something that could affect all of us, that the Lord is bringing down that Jezebel spirit, the witchcraft that has come against this nation and this world, and the Lord is crushing the enemy's head for us all in our lives. Amen. So I want you to know that this is also symbolic of what the Lord is doing on a grander scale. All right. Now, we're going to get into this wonderful, wonderful word that is just going to encourage you greatly, greatly, greatly. So I just want to pray and then we're going to read the word. All right. <sighs> Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, our comforter, our guide, our truth teller, our best friend. Thank you for being the power of the living God within us. Thank you that you are transforming us. Thank you that you are teaching us. Thank you that you protect us, that you speak to us, that you minister to us, that you reveal the hidden and deep things of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit for being in our lives. Hallelujah. Thank you. We love you, Holy Spirit. You are welcome here. We give the glory to the Lord Jesus and we bless you, Almighty God, for this word, for this time and season that we are in, which is now yours. We are about to witness the mighty hand of the living God on such a grand level and yet so many levels we will be in awe and wonder. And I give you thanks, Father, for myself and others, part of the remnant that you have chosen to be forerunners, trailblazers, and some of us shall, be, shall and have been experiencing these things before the greater body. But that is only by your grace. We give you thanks in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right, prophetic word, June 2nd, 2023, the Lord spoke this to Diana Larkin. Begins with a scripture, 2 Corinthians 5.18. And God has made all things new and reconciled us to himself and given us the ministry oh, of reconciling others to God. And that's from the Passion Translation. And this is what the Lord spoke to Diana. I am the God who makes all things new. You have experienced a portion of this newness. 
in your relationship with me through the blood of my son. But you are about to go through a season of mega newness. <laughs> Hallelujah. I am not just coming to tear down evil. I am coming to make all things new. Oh, thank you, Lord. As my church enters into the kingdom age, I will continue to transform hearts, minds through salvation, deliverance, and healing. But I am also going to make all things new in your economy. In the air you breathe and the food you grow. In health and wholeness, in relationships and community, even in the tech industry. What was developed to control you, you will be used, or will now be used rather, to enhance your life and to provide more freedom. Oof. Now just a small sample of what comes to me when I read that, and we still have about a few more sentences to go, but I felt like the Lord wanted me to kind of bring something practical that you can understand. What is one way technology that was used, that was developed to control us, that the Lord is saying will now enhance our lives and be used to provide more freedom? An example, uh, maybe not the best example, but the example that comes to me is a new energy source. Perhaps an energy source um, I think Barry Wunsch was shown this in one of his encounters, one of the words I gave, where somehow we will be um, we will be able to, or rather there is a method or a technology present that has been hidden from the public where energy is actually been able to be, uh, is able to, uh, to be, um, <laughs> help me talk here, Lord, <laughs> to be extracted, electricity extracted from the air. Now, can you imagine? Our vehicles, our cars, no longer needing gasoline to where the freedom that that would bring. Um, now, again, I'm no expert. I don't really know how to explain that, but one sample. Okay. Now, that's something in the natural realm. There are greater things, the things that I almost feel may not be uh, that many, many, not many people are very capable of receiving in terms of revelations of things I've heard. One of those things is the, the Lord is about to change things so much that people will live way longer. Now, in the natural, you'd probably ask yourself, well, how is that possible with everything they put in our food and everything they put in our water? Well, the Lord is just saying he's going to make everything new. And if you, if you are very, very firm or rigid, and perhaps need help in that mindset, I pose to you this one question. Is there anything too difficult for the Lord? Now, you can't believe and hold on to that rigid religious mindset and also agree that there's nothing difficult for the Lord because that's opposites. You have to choose. Will you serve your doubt or will you serve God through faith? And it's okay if the Lord shows us there's an area we need improvement of the Holy Spirit's right there to help us. We just have to be willing to yield. Now, I've heard deep, deep, deep things that I don't know how many people can accept it, but perhaps there will be even a time where we won't even have to eat as much. We may even be able to go one meal a day. And it, because of the nutrients that have been held back, that there will be a time when technology would be so advanced oh, in this kingdom age that we're stepping into that oh hallelujah that it'll almost seem it'll almost seem how can i say this i don't want to you know don't take it the wrong way but it will almost seem as if it's okay i'm just gonna pay in this way i don't know if many people can handle that if i say that they'll try to take me out of context we don't need that um, if any of you have seen any movies such as uh, The Avengers, such as Iron Man, such as other movies where people can just, um, sh you know, tap things on their watches or whatever, and it brings up this hologram 
and they can interact with all this stuff, it kind of looks like an illusion, right? kind of looks like magic. Well, we know magic is witchcraft. Technology is going to get to the point where it looks like that, but it's going to be God-ordained, okay? Can you imagine us um, being able to not only live way longer, past 100, past 150, to where you'll be able to see not only your children, but your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, your great-great-grandchildren, and though you be though you have a higher number in age yet oh hallelujah somehow you will have the strength and vigor and vitality as if you were 25 or 30. now to some people you know they're stuck in the the mindset of the carnal things that say that's impossible well guess what that's what they believe that's what they'll receive i personally am choosing to say lord whatever you have planned i've said it before i'll say it before in front of you all Whatever the Lord has plans, yes, God. Okay, I agree. Let's go. Let's do it. I receive it. And thus, I open myself up for access to receive. And the same can be for you if you choose. I believe the Lord is, we're going to get to a point where people will be walking. Now, this is just with technology and stuff, but can you imagine the glory? We have never experienced the worldwide glory outpouring that the Lord has talked about to where people will be healed instantly, delivered instantly. Can you imagine our hearts, our organs being restored to perfection? Oh my Lord, I'm just giving you a little bit. I'm, I'm holding back a lot of other things that I've heard from men and women of God that I'm learning from that are way beyond. Like they've seen, God has shown them things and they have had, I'm talking visitation from a cloud of witnesses People such as Moses, Elijah, Enoch, and these are people who are forerunners and vessels that may not be so well known, only in certain spheres, and they know, they are known by certain people such as Bobby Connor. Bobby Connor knows some of, some of these men and women of God, whom I'm talking about. And who knows, maybe the Lord will have me talk about it at some point, but for now, I don't want to give you something so meaty that you choke on it. Amen? Because I know not we're not all on the same level. Nonetheless, there is a remnant. Amen? So I just wanted to kind of whet your appetite there for you to get excited and just know God is about to change everything. Everything. I've seen a glimpse of this in a recent dream encounter that I had where in an instant His glory came and there was this intense red orange uh, orange gold sky like this as an, in an instant everything changed mm. it was just i mean it was amazing amazing the freedom that is about to come how gradual how instantaneous it'll be i don't know but i'm waiting around with faith just like you amen my god okay well let's get back to this word the last bit of this word says, Darkness and sin will still be present, but it will be under your feet. That's funny, Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> My dream encounter. <laughs> yes. Crushing, crushing. You crushing through me, the head of the enemy. Sin will still be present, yes, but it will be under your feet and not threatening your life and freedom. For those of you who know, the Lord has shown Kat Kerr much of this, and on her time on Elijah's streams for the last two years, she has been speaking about these things. Um, cities of light where God's glory will be, will be there. Kevin Zeta has talked about what he has seen in the future and so forth. So we have lots of witnesses to such things. Fight on, God says, army of light. It's all going to be worth it as I display before the world that I make all things new. Hallelujah. And there's a beautiful picture uh, that Diana Larkin drew on here of the rainbow and birds flying and the light of God just shining down. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And I have been feeling, as we went from May into June, I've been feeling it. I just cannot, I can barely put words to it.
but something wonderful, amazing has been happening. I can feel the joy in me is just has been like through the roof. So I know that there are many of you also who have expressed that. So hallelujah, I'm not by myself. And even if I was, it's all right, but, but I'm not. I know there are many of you with me as well, feeling it and the excitement is there. Now, I believe what God has spoken through Bob Jones. God has spoken this through, if I'm not mistaken, through Bobby Connor also. Yes, yes, thank you, Lord. As well as others. And I want to say it publicly. I've said it before. I'll say it again right now. I do believe that there will be a generation of men and women of God that will not taste death. In simple words, there will be men and women of God, a generation, a group of people, large amounts of people with a faith to where they will not ever die. But the moment their time, their destiny, their call is done here on the earth, they'll just step over into eternity. <laughs> I'm telling the Lord, Lord, if you want to do that with me, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like, like that's what you may want. However long you want to have me here, it's all good. All I ask for, let me walk in divine health, Lord. I'll stay as long as you want. Because remember, to live is Christ. To die is gain. Either way, <laughs> we're with the Lord. We can't lose because we've already won. You can't lose. You're not a victim because the victory is already done. You have Jesus either way. So praise the Lord. I hope this really got embedded into your soul and began to transform your mind to think bigger and broader and get excited. Get excited. Doesn't matter your age right now. You may be older than me. You may, may be a few decades even older than me. The Lord may be able to have you here 50, 70, 100 or more years. You ask him, he can do it. And remember, as we get closer to the end, however it is, whenever it is that the Lord shall return, as we get closer, remember that in Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and chapter 3, it says, that which has been shall be again, right? Because the Lord works in a cyclical, in cycles, cyclical fashion. In Isaiah 55, he says he sends his word and it shall not return, meaning it always returns, meaning cyclical. It shall not return void. So if, thank you, Lord, yes, in Matthew, it also says, when the Son of Man returns, it shall, um, I'm paraphrasing here, it shall be kind of like the way it was in the days of Noah. Well, that kind of means it's going to be similar to that. Now, people always think, oh, you know, there's going to be, um, they're going to talk about Nephilim and all this stuff. And yeah, I used to go down that path, but the Lord wanted me to focus on his goodness. Okay. But what was also happening during that time of Noah in Genesis 6? What was also happening? People were living long, very long in those days. Amen. And I believe in something that some men and women of God call returning to Eden. I believe we shall walk like Adam and Eve walked before the end comes. Why not? Does not the Lord deserve a glorious church? Does not he deserve that billion soul harvest he prophesied through Bob Jones and many others? Absolutely. Amen. So, wow, I guess you got a lot to chew on. I held back a lot, but I give you a little bit and I pray that it got you excited. Amen. Well, check in the description to see how you can follow, Di follow Diana Larkin if you're not already following her. I'm reading here from her Telegram channel, but she has a lot of social media. <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoyed this word. I was very, very excited to share it with you. And so um, that's it for now. Feel free to look in the description as well. Make sure you um, subscribe, turn your notification bells on, leave a comment, a couple comments, hit the like button for me, and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Be blessed.